Peyronie's disease is a disorder of the penis in which oftentimes a plaque forms which is palpable. There can be pain at the plaque, there can be curvature at the plaque, there can be both. It causes a restriction which allows expansion of one side of the penis but not the other and thus curvature. The plaque that we find in Peyronie's disease is formed most often from a minor trauma during intercourse. What ends up occurring most of the time is that the penis will slip out of the vagina and hit the pubic bone, causing a quick flexion. The literature tells us that the patient often, up to 85 or 90 percent of the time, can tell his physician when exactly the trauma occurred. After having seen thousands of patients with this disorder over the years of my medical practice, I will tell you that the vast minority remember, maybe only 10%. This is a plaque that is collagen, as is any scar tissue, and it causes a restriction because it's calcified and attached to the penis itself, the erectile body. The best example that I can give a patient is, I tell them to imagine blowing up a long balloon like a child has at a party where a clown makes them a flower or something. As they're blowing it up, put a piece of tape on the side of the balloon, and that side is restricted. The side that is unrestricted continues to grow and that will make the balloon curve to one side. Risk factors for Peyronie's disease, of course, are trauma, which is what we often see. The other is what's called Dupuytren's contracture. This is basically a trigger finger. When a patient will have a finger that's stuck like this as they have a tendon that is caught. Same process is going on that's going on in the penis right there in their fingers. Oftentimes a patient will come with a very significant curvature, upwards of 75 or 90 degrees. The degree of curvature often will make sex very difficult, very uncomfortable, or near impossible. In addition, this very commonly leads to depression in the patient, and I've had multiple patients come to me suffering from the disorder for well over a year, having very little done about it, and also requiring multiple antidepressants to try to control their depression. Once repaired, however, most of these patients come right off of their antidepressants. Oral agents such as vitamin E and Pataba are often used. Topical verapamil cream can be used as a home adjunct for the patient. Verapamil injections, which are done in the office every other week. Zyaflex, which is a new collagenase that has been FDA approved for the use in Peyronie's disease as of April of 2014. And the last is penile plication, which is surgical straightening of the penis.